So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i am going to show you how you can model this dustbin using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and this will be very quick tutorial guys so make sure you watch this tutorial till end because in the end of this video i am going to show you how you can make this crumple paper so now without any further delay let's get started tutorial so first of all i am just going to delete everything and, and then i will add one cube here and then i will go to the edit mode of this cube and then I will press the 3 for this face mode and going to delete this top face and after that I am just going to add one modifier it's called uh, subdivision surface and after that you have to increase the uh, subdivision level from the here yeah I think that's fine and after that I will go to the edit mode of this cube and adding one edge loop here something like that okay and then I am just going to select the top edges and uh, going to stretch little bit something like that and you can uh, scale little bit something like that then I will extrude it pressing the E and now I'm just going to scale it so I think that's look fine yeah and uh, now you have to just apply this subdivision first of all and uh, make sure you add the shade smooth as well and from the hair object data property make sure you enable the auto smooth as well yeah that's look fine to me then after that I'm just going to the again this modify section and here I will add one wireframe modifier and when you add the wireframe modifier it will look like this here you can see okay and after that from here you have to enable the, this boundary section so right now here you can see the boundary is looking uh, open so if, if you click on here so it will fill it something like that and after that from here you can increase the thickness of this uh, cage yeah I think that's fine and uh, after that you can uh, just add one modifier it's called uh, subdivision surface and when you add the subdivision surface so it will look like that and from the here you have to do the same thing before we did increase the subdivision level and I think 3 is fine and then you can just add the shade smooth yeah it's look fine to me okay and uh, after that you have to just uh, add the material from the here and which is I have already created so I'm just going to add it and if you want to know uh, how I create this so I'm just going to show you these nodes so this is a very uh, basic setup of this uh, nodes so I have used the uh, noise texture and attach the bump node with the normal node okay and you can see these node pausing this video okay and in the beginning of this video I told you I will show you how you can make the crumple paper so for making the crumple paper I am just going to add one uh, UV sphere here okay something like that and after that I am just going to edit mode of this UV sphere and pressing the A for the vertex mode and then I will go to the mesh transform and here you will see the randomize okay when you click on the randomize from here you can increase the amount of the randomness okay and uh, if you want to increase the uniform something like that if you want to change the normal you can change from here and there are the random seats so you can take any kind of random seats okay so I like this one after that I'm just going to add the one subdivision modifier on it okay something like that and then I'm just going to add the same viewport level and then add the shade smooth so here you can see we have a perfect crumpled paper and now I'm just going to scale it and keep it inside this dustbin and you can take copies of these crumpled paper and if you want to make a different crumpled paper so for that again you have to add the one UV sphere and then go to the edit mode of this and then here you have to go to the mesh transform from the random section and from here you can increase the amount basically and after that you have to just and change the seed okay so I think it look fine to me then after that you have to do same thing so here you can see guys okay and you can take one more copy as well here and if you want to rotate it you can rotate it in any direction yeah okay and after that you have to add the light on your scene and when you take a render you will see something like that so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comments so bye bye take care and stay home guys